This is it, fellas. This is the reason you bought Halo 4. I'm bringing you my first race track, which is a mixture of a roller coaster and a motocross track, so it's pretty solid. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen my racetrack in Halo Reach, Jelly, and it's pretty similar to that. I like to call this big beluga of a jump the X Games ramp, and through hours of blood, sweat, and tears, I finally got it to be pretty consistent. It'll work like 80 to 90% of the time. The rest of the track is pretty much a bunch of gay curly cues and retarded jumps. Like this one, for example. I mean, when you start your track off with an X Games ramp, it really only goes downhill from there. And I'm gonna have to apologize for, rather than playing a badass song like in my old videos, I'm just commentating with my extreme douche voice. And don't even try and be nice about it, you know, this is like textbook douche voice, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't get much worse than this. But anyway, I can't play any righteous songs, mainly because copyright is a slut and YouTube gets their panties all in a bundle. Honestly, the only music you're allowed to play on here nowadays is like some fat chick playing the clarinet. But on a side note, I really do strive to have a normal voice one day. You know, so I could seduce women with a phenomenal music number, or just seduce them by showing them my tracks on Halo. That's how it works, right? So we're coming to the end of a full lap of this god-awful racetrack. And if you haven't had to change your pants by now, you might as well go play some Call of Duty. I'll bet you guys really like this half-ass ending. I also made this shitty map compatible with the racetrack's game variant. So if you were to for some reason have friends, I guess you could play with them on here. Unless they're a bunch of cheating assholes. Because being the smart guy that I am, I figured no one on a video game would ever want to cheat, and I did not make the track cheat proof. One thing that I really wanted to talk about was left out from my first impressions video. I never gave you guys my true first impression of Halo 4. In that video I really just talked about a bunch of bullshit that doesn't matter, like maps and gameplay, no one really cares about that. I'm talking about the real first impression, like straight from the menu. So let me get into a little story here. Alright, here we go. It's 11.40 p.m. November 5th, and I'm so anticipated for this game, I'm sweating like a whore in a church. And being the retard that I am, I still don't have a license at age 17, so I ride my dirt bike all the way to GameStop. And you gotta know, my motorcycle is not even slightly street legal. I guess you could call me a complete badass. Alright, so I get to GameStop, and I'm fucking stoked. And you know me, the GameStop manager's like, Oh, what's up, Can't Stop Donut? Yeah, just come to the front of the line, bro. Love those videos you make on YouTube, man. So long story short, I get inside GameStop, grab my copy of Halo 4, and head to the register. There's all these cool cashiers, like these three dudes. And you can just tell that they are chill as fuck. And then I have to walk over to the very end to this one bitch. The only chick there, and you can tell she just hates her life. Like, not one moment passes by where she doesn't think about eating Twinkies and playing World of Warcraft. And so she's all, That'll be $60, no. <laughs> Give her my $60, all in ones of course, because I'm an exotic dancer. And then, here's the ball buster. She's all, Uh, can I see your ID, sir? I'm like, well, I don't have an ID, but I am 17. Showed her my high school senior ID, but she doesn't give a rat's ass. She's just like, yeah, I need an ID, sir. So long story short, and I'm not proud of this, I had to pull a hey mister to get my copy of Halo 4. Bless my heart. But fuck it. YOLO, right? Or as I like to say, YONT. But anyways, I get home, watch some porn, and then insert the holy grail into my Xbox. Now this was a life-changing moment. I'd say I'm about four Red Bulls deep, so I'm jittering out the ass. And then, I start up the game. So it gets through all those bullshit developer cutscenes, you know, they're like, yeah, we're kind of a big deal, we made this game. And then it finally gets to the menu, and immediately, the message comes up in the music cues. And at that moment, it was like a lightning bolt struck the tip of my penis. First off, the Halo 4 logo is illuminating like you just stumbled upon a goddamn treasure. And then you have the theme music with the orchestra using their fucking pure gold lungs. You know that Halo theme song I'm talking about, they're all like, Ah, oh, Halo, the best game ever. 
It really is just magical. Hell, for a second there, I felt like a goddamn Spartan in the medieval times, prancing across a grassy meadow with, like, a big-ass spear. And then boom goes the dynamite. I thrust it right into the breast of another man. Just fucking majestic. But those are just my first impressions of the game. I'm sure everyone had similar feelings. Moving on from that boring-ass story, if you don't have a life like myself, then you're probably aware that it's not possible to download maps yet, so please, for the love of God, don't send me messages or friend requests trying to download this map. Just have some patience, and when they get the download system working, I'll put it right on my file share, and you can go ahead and snatch her up. Although I'm pretty positive that no one wants to download this piss-poor excuse of a map. In other news, I'm now slaving away at making a badass combination of Lockout from Halo 2 and Guardian of Halo 3. And then after that, I have a beautiful infection game in mind that I made in Halo 3, so it will be back in Halo 4, new and improved. I always hate being the douche that says this, but subscribe if you want to see those when they are released. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that a lot of people are saying that they hate Halo 4 Forge, but I gotta say I'm kind of digging it. I really like the magnets. The only thing that really blows is that there's not much precision like in Halo Reach when you click down the stick and there's a lot more precision in your movements. They kind of just ditch that. But I can see the reasoning behind that. You know, the developers were probably just like, yeah, this game can't be too good because people would never go outside, so we gotta, we gotta fuck it up somehow. But now this video is coming to a close, so I definitely have to thank my buddy Cookie Monster for helping out a little bit on the track. Check out his channel in the description. It's called Pro Forge Racing. More like Pro Forge Gay Sing. Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, anyone? But fun fact of the day, Cookie Monster actually taught me how to forge back in Halo 3 and brought me into the circle of no life. It all started with a YouTube comment. I was one of those really annoying kids that was like, Hey dude, how do you make that so smooth, bro? It's so cool. And the rest is history. And lots of weight. Lots and lots of weight gained. And yet another reminder to be patient and wait for the download link to come. Because I'm sure 343 will get their shit together soon and fix it. And since I'm a major tool, I'm going to advertise my Twitter on here. So please follow me, guys. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah. And all of my tweets are original, so feel free to steal them and take 100% credit. And maybe if you're cool enough, I'll follow you back. So stay tuned for a bunch of righteous maps and very mediocre gameplays. But until then... Love you.